If even small doses of steroids create long-term problems, what can happen when extreme doses are involved? Greg Valentino was about to find out. Anything in excess is going to cause side effects. And of course, there's not a bodybuilder on this planet who has not had some sort of side effects from taking steroids, even some supplements. After years of steroid injections, Greg's bicep fought back. I had tons of, you know, needles, you know, syringes, needles, the whole bit. And I'm over there reusing needles, dropping a damn thing on the floor, blowing it off, wiping it off, and then you stick that in you, and you get infections, you know? And that's what happened. I, you know, I wound up getting an infection, and, um, when I got the infection, it, it starts off, you get a bad fever, the area gets red, soft, pussy. It was like a giant zit in there. It was just loaded with pus. And if you don't do something about it, you can wind up in the hospital and kill yourself, you know what I mean? It could kill you. Greg knew he was in serious trouble, so he decided to operate on himself. What you're watching is I had a hematoma in my arm and I'm draining the blood. It almost looks like a murder scene. There's blood all over the floor. There's blood everywhere. Greg's home surgery on his bicep didn't work. After 20 minutes of stabbing himself with a syringe and filling two glasses with blood and pus, Greg ended up in emergency surgery. I deserved it. I was an idiot. I was an idiot, you know? His world record holding bicep was hacked to pieces. You see the difference? Look. That arm's round. That arm's not. You see, when he cut it, you see the cut? When he cut that, went in, forms a scar. That's a scar. I gotta get that taken care of. I'm so I'm totally self-conscious about that, you know? Steroids destroyed Greg Valentino's body. He thought things couldn't get any worse. But they did.